Welcome to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 25C, um, where you're building on the previous lessons of creating a, uh, a basically a sign-in app using Tasker, uh, using scenes and inputs and uh, writing to files and all that fun stuff. Uh, so we're going to continue on with that. I'm going to show you how to add a motion detector uh, to this uh, app. Uh, this is motion detector. We'll open it up just so you can see it. Now I did a full review of uh, this app, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to do a whole review of this app. I have a review of the app on my app review playlist. You can check that out if you want to see everything it does. What I will tell you is motion detector. If you click send, I mean, or turn it on, then what you're doing is you're allowing this to send. Uh, a broadcast intent and the awesome thing about that is Tasker can receive broadcast intents so if this is sending them Tasker can receive them it means you can use motion to detect and basically you just press that to turn it on we'll come back to that in a minute first we got to set it up so we're going to create a uh, profile so go profiles click plus and we're going to use event and we are going to use I think, I think it's in system let me see intent received is what we're going to use so intent received and then the uh, the action we're going to put in here and this is a long one so bear with me oh R G dot uh, J A S T R Z A B dot M O V E dot capital A is all caps A T uh, action is correct, so I'll add that, and then I need underscore, I think that's underscore, and then G-L-O-B, global, and then underscore, and then broadcast, and that should be it, um, O-R-G dot J-A-S-T-R-Z-A-B, dot move dot action global broadcast basically what that is that is the the intent that the motion detector is sending out each time it detects movement and so we need tasker to receive that and then trigger something based on that so now we have to decide what we want it to uh, uh, trigger so we're going to have a new task so new task we're going to call this one, whoa, oh, one, sign, motion. So it's basically something we want to be happening when we're using our sign in and we detect motion. So what are we going to have it do? Well, first we're going to have it turn the display brightness up. Uh, display brightness up to full. It's already on full, so we'll leave that there. The next thing we're going to have it do is we're going to have it say something. Uh, welcome. That was horrible. Welcome to class. Please sign in. And the rest will leave the same. Now, the other thing we're going to want it to do when it performs that, uh, we don't want it to just continually be doing this every time it senses motion. We want there to be some time in between. So, I'm going to have it uh, 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 say that. And then I'm going to have it wait 
10 seconds. And then if nothing happens, then I'm going to have it turn the display brightness back down. And there's one more thing I wanted to do. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. The first thing I wanted to do is I want it to, uh, not the first thing, one of the things I want it to do after it detects that motion is I want it to turn that profile off so that it's not constantly detecting motion. I kind of mentioned that and then I didn't do it. So profile status, click the search button, motion detect. Actually, it's, that's not the one we want. It's the only one that's in here right now, but, and the reason is because since we created that original profile, we haven't gone out of it. So we need to go out of it and then go back on. So let's go out of it here. Now we have that set up, go back into this task. Now we can have it do the correct one. Nope, still not there. And so it goes with Tasker. Sometimes you have to exit all the way out of Tasker and then go back into Tasker in order to do things like that. So now we're going to go back into Tasker. There we go. Maybe. Did I not give that a name? Maybe that's the problem. I don't think I did. One, oh, one. Motion detect. There we go. That's why I couldn't do it. All right, so now if we go back into this task and back in here and click that. There we go, 101 motion detect. So I want to set that off. I'm going to move that up here. So when motion is detected, this is triggered. What does it do? It turns the brightness up. It turns the motion detect off, so it won't detect motion or will detect mo the motion detector will be running, but the profile will be turned off, so it won't trigger this. It'll say a message, it'll wait 10 seconds, it'll turn the display brightness back down, and then we're gonna have it tasker profile status, one-on-one -on -one motion detect. Now set it back on. Because we're lowering the brightness, we're setting it back on so that if it detects motion again, boom, it goes back up to, turns up the brightness and says welcome and blah, 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 blah. So hopefully you understood why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, I think I explained it uh, well enough. If not, you can ask me, but I think you guys get it. If, you got, if you've gotten this far in task or you're pretty smart, so you probably pick up on things fairly quickly. So anyway, that's, uh, that's how you set up the motion detect. So um, now going back to task and going to start sign in, what we'll have that do is we'll have that not only uh, show that first scene, but we'll also have it turn the profile status of 101 motion detect on so that that profile will be turned on to start detecting motion as soon as that sh scene is uh, shown. Now there is something we need to do uh, with the rest of this uh, on scenes with the sign in start. Once someone taps that, we want to make sure that that profile gets turned off. So besides doing the things that it's doing here, we also want to tasker profile status, one on motion detect, set off. Because if you have it on, then while people are trying to fill in their information, it's going to be detecting motion and it's going to be saying something. Now, I'll say, you know, motion detector is detecting motion. Uh, and you can set it up, if you see my review, you can change it so that it's only looking for motion in a certain area of the camera, which is kind of cool. Um, but obviously, if there's a lot of commotion all around a table, you're not going to want to use motion detector because it'll just be 
continually be triggering whether someone, you know, there's just no point. But if it's a kind of situation like me with open houses where people come in ever so often, it works great for that. Um, but yeah, watch that review so you can see all the ways you can control the motion detector to, to use it to the best of your ability. So now we've set up uh, this button to turn the, uh, and we're going to put that right at the top. So the second somebody presses that, the first thing it does is turns off the motion detector because we don't need it on while, uh, uh, while they're filling out the information. So we should be all set with this. Uh, what we would need to do is we would need to turn the uh, motion detector on. I'm going to turn this profile off because we have a built-in way to turn it on when we start the task. And let's go to motion detector. We already have, remember we already have it sending the uh, broadcast intents. So, and there's different, again, all different configurations you could set in this, but we're going to turn it on. And then we're going to go into uh, Tasker. Back into Tasker. Go into Task. We're going to go Start Sign In, which shows the scene and starts Motion Detector, and we're going to push Play. Welcome to class. Please sign in. Okay, now so long as it doesn't detect any more motion, it's going to wait 10 seconds, and then it should lower the brightness. There you go. And now when I move, Welcome to class. detects that Please motion, sign in. turns the brightness. Now if I press start, Thanks for signing in. First thing that did when I press start is that turned off the motion detector. So now as the person is going through and doing this stuff, that motion detector is not on. Welcome to class. Please sign in. Or it shouldn't be on. Now we see that there's an issue there. So I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to go back. Go to profiles. Welcome to class. Please sign in. And it is turned off. Since it's turned off, it shouldn't be doing anything. Um, obviously, somehow it is. Welcome to class. Please sign in. So, what I'll do, what I'm going to do, is go to this task and stop it. Because um, that's the task that sets the brightness. Oh, I know what I did. Um, I had, I, I went into the scene and had that when I tap that button, it turns off this profile but what I didn't have it do is stop this task so this task was still running and if what happens at the end of this task it turns the profile back on so there you go picked up on an error right away so press here to start tap we turn the profile status off but we also need to task her That's not where it is. Where is it? Task. Stop. Press magnifying glass. Which one are we stopping? Sign. Motion. That's the one. So we're having it stop that task. We're going to move that up to the top there. So it turns the profile off and it stops uh, that task. Actually move it to the top, have it do that right away, and then turn the profile off. So now it uh, uh, should work because we have it so that this task will stop and it won't get to the turn motion detect on. So let's test it again. Go to sign in. Welcome to class. Please sign in. Uh, it should wait about 10 seconds and then it should dim. Turn down the brightness. Any second now. There we go. Now if it detects motion. Welcome to class. Please sign in. It turns back on, turns on bright. If I hit start, that should... Welcome to class. Please sign in. Now that I Thanks hit... Thanks for signing in. So that should stop it. 
it shouldn't be getting dim and bright anymore as we're going through this. So let's kind of see. Uh, looks like it's still doing it. Welcome to class. Please sign in. Yeah, it's still running it. So let's see if I can figure out why it's doing it. Okay, so I figured out why it wasn't working. It's because I'm an idiot, and you guys might have actually seen me doing this and been yelling at the screen as I was doing it. But under the uh, press here to start, and when you tap that, uh, for tap action, I had profile status set on when it should be profile status set off. Obviously, the point was to turn it off. So. That's the way it goes with Tasker. Now it should work. Let's try this one more time and see if it works the way it should. Start sign in. Welcome to class. Please sign in. So this will just loop and loop and loop. It'll wait 10 seconds. It'll uh, dim. And now it'll sit that way until someone walks by or walks up. Welcome to class. Please sign in. Now when you press start, that Thanks should... Thanks for signing in. That should stop it. The profile should be off. It shouldn't get dim anymore or welcome you and ask you to sign in because it stopped the profile and stopped the task. I think I finally got it set up right. So now the person comes in and enters their information. Uh, let's see. Let's go with... <laughs> Go with Gary. Gary. Of course, they put the last name, but we're not going to worry about that. And then we're going to choose an age range. Thanks for that information. Please press the finish button. And then we're going to click finish. Thanks for coming to our class, Gary. Have fun learning about Tasker. Now it's going to start this back. And it should turn the motion detector back on. I didn't, I think I forgot to set that up. Normally I would have it, uh, let's see, so that in this scene, when you click the finish button, yeah, you would have it turn the turn the uh, uh, motion detector profile back on. So that's just the last thing you might want to add in there to uh, have it uh, have that turn back on, so that when it goes back to that front scene, also the motion detector profile comes back on to detect motion and say welcome and dim your screen and then you know brighten back up when it detects motion again. But that's pretty much it. I think I covered it all. Um, I know there was a lot in this, but it just shows the capacity of Tasker. There's so much you can do with it, especially when you have awesome apps like that motion detector app, which is great, that interact with Tasker. It just really takes it to the next level. So anyway, that is it. That's 25C. That's all of 25, A, B, and C. So uh, thanks for you know hanging in there with me as we figured out the glitches and, and got it all put together. Uh, and uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel, check out my Android app reviews, my other Tasker tutorials, NFC tutorials, uh, product reviews, all kinds of things. Share this with anyone you know who might be interested, uh, especially learning more about Tasker and just realizing all the capacity of things you can do with Tasker. And uh, that is about it until next time, so have fun with Tasker. Mm -hmm.